Five months after surviving an Osprey crash, a Hawaii Marine opens up about his injuries and the support he's received. This comes as a new organization starts assisting wounded warriors in their return to normal life. KITV4's Paul Drews has more in this exclusive report. When an Osprey aircraft crashed at Bellows Air Force Station in May during a training mission, Lance Corporal Avery Fujie was among the 22 Marines on board. I pretty much broke my L2 vertebrae. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't walk. I couldn't feel anything from the waist down. I was hospitalized for a lengthy amount of time. Two Marines died. And like the thick smoke that billowed from the chopper, things looked dark for Avery, too. It was tough. There was a point where I, I really thought that I was going to be paralyzed and waist down. And it, it was a reality check. It was, it was very, very scary. Enter the Wounded Warrior Program, walking him through recovery and rehab. They help with appointments, medical appointments, um, spiritual therapy, mental therapy, just to get me back on my feet. Wounded Warrior is also partnered with Access Surf to get Avery and others back into the ocean. For a different kind of healing. You're in the water, you're just enjoying yourself, you, you feel free of all those limitations. I mean, the, the pain goes away for a temporary amount of time. That way, you just feel like you're, you're healed, you're better. Now, helping him get better is a new group called the Wounded Warriors Ohana, which received a big donation of $10,000 from the Hilton Hawaiian Village to provide more family experiences for wounded warriors and their loved ones. I've seen firsthand what these guys have faced, and you know that's why my passion is there to help them out. The group's inaugural event at Fort DeRussi represents so much more than just an average beach day filled with food, family, and fun. It reminds me that hey, you know, this is, there are people out there that care about us. At Fort DeRussi, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. Avery's been on injured status since the accident, but will be rejoining his unit next month as they return from deployment. The Wounded Warriors Ohana plans to hold its next family gathering at Fort Tarusi on December 18th.